All right, guys, today we're going to be reacting to Andrew Makes Evil Witch Realize She Justifies Slavery. Jump in. That I don't consider them people, and as long as I don't consider you a person, why would it be a problem to enslave you then? Because I'm not enslaving people. I'm well, uh, casting I thought you're, a spell. You, I'm casting Forgive me. I'm sorry. Me. You said that uh, slavery, when I asked you what that meant, mm -hmm. would be to hold someone against there, their will. There's a lot of things wrong with slavery. I don't think okay, I need to what? sit here and say what's wrong with slavery. What? Do we really want to get into it? Yeah, I really want to get into it. What's wrong with it from your worldview? From slavery? Yeah. Considering the fact that it rips families apart. Uh -huh. Considering the fact what they do to yeah, slaves. Yeah, but that's all a side effect of containing someone against their will, right? Mm -hmm. There's a lot more to it, though. No, it's There's really just that. There's a lot more to it. What else is there? A spiritual, how, holding a spiritual belief and owning slaves are not comparable. Oh, no, they're totally comparable if the logic's the same. So let's they're start not. with this. It, is What is a logic. slave itself? Forget ripping, because there's some slaves not going to have their family ripped apart, none of that. What is a slave? Someone who is indentured to another person. They don't That's have to be indentured? I'm, they... It's just somebody controlling somebody else's will against their will, mm -hmm. right? That's all a slave is, isn't it? To a certain extent, it? yeah. What do you mean? What else? But that's could, not. But I'll I'm tell you not. What, give me holding, a better definition. I'm not holding than that. someone under my will forever. All I'm doing is I'm pushing what's already Wait, coming. Wait, so towards then it's them. okay to hold people as slaves temporarily? No, I. not Well, then for that argument makes no sense. That you, well, I only hold their will temporarily. But I'm not, that's the same I'm not as me saying a, I hold I'm a slave not temporarily. I'm taking away their will. I'm pushing. Wait, what's I'm sorry. Did your ex? Them. Was it your ex's will to get a broken back and fall down uh, three stories? It was the universe's. Oh but wow! Not his. It was the universe's. And did you affect the universe? Yeah, I would say so. so wow. If you affected the universe, then you contained his will. How's that not slavery? I personally believe if someone punched you in the face and you punch them back. That's not slavery. No, because slavery is not comparable. This is comparable. No, it's not a containment will. If I of punch will. you in the face and you punch me back. No, that's a response to will. Right, so that's I responded to, I do to not, my will I'm not being taken away. His will. You're containing the will. I took my power back. Right, by containing by somebody else's containing will. Else's Call it whatever you want. You call I it took slavery. My power back. How is it not slavery? How is witchcraft not slavery? Yeah, how is it not slavery to affect a person's will and get them to do things they ordinarily would not do? I guess you could call it that. Um, it's manipulation of energy. Okay. Look, and it's more nuanced than that, though. I don't think if it is. If an abuser put a hex on you, would you consider that? Uh, it wouldn't land. How do you if know? If it did because land. Because it's. Ba okay. Let's pretend it did. Let's it's not going to land. I have people who try to hex me all the time. I'm, I'm just asking a question. I'm, I'm trying to get clarity because okay. I don't, I'm, I'm just yeah, yeah. Get clarity. Just like so what's, understand. What's your question? Just what the difference is. Like where you feel it would be okay to put a hex on somebody else and it's totally okay. But if somebody were to put that one on you, how would you feel about it? That's their decision. I, I, it happens to me so often that it really doesn't bother me. I have my protection set up and... I believe if I genuinely did something to harm someone, to cause them out, I think you need to understand the amount of anger, the amount of pain that a victim has to go to, to the point where they want to go take spiritual repercussions. I've been a human being. I have been assaulted. Yeah. At that point, so, by you, so, you, so I know. you understand the I know. anger and yeah, oh, of course. It, it's a way for me that I was able to take my power back after it was taken away from me. Okay. Yeah. So I have, I have a question on this because you're trying to get uh, justice for mm -hmm. victims. Do you think in the justice system, uh, people are falsely accused? That is a factor, but it mm. is considerably lower than I think. I, I don't think it's a big factor. You don't think it's a big factor? No, I would say majority of victims are not false reporting. I would say- Oh man, she, she, has, she has some weird energy, I'm not gonna lie. She does have a very good weird, weird energy. Let's go back. Look at her, look at the way she's looking at Brian. A majority of victims are not false reporting. Right there, right there. I would say okay. well, that's weird, man. I'll even grant that the majority of that's victims weird. are not making false accusations. There's, there's an overwhelming amount of women sure. who don't even report what's right. happening to Correct. them. Okay, so the will you concede that them. women do make false accusations? Yes, it does happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's actually, in this specific crime you're talking about, it's actually there, there's higher incidence of false accusations of this sort of crime where people have sort of misunderstandings of what is and what isn't. But um, so. You said you only do this to abusers. How would you come to the determination that someone's actually guilty? 
That's a really great question. Or you just, they just say he abused me and you just believe it in all instances? I have my spell set up, so anything that you put out returns back to you times three. So if I hex someone and they didn't do anything wrong, it's not going to impact them. It's not going to hit them. Wait, I don't so understand how that, there, there's like a, that's how I have there's my like an asterisk, set up. there's an asterisk yes, so, on your hexes? Yes, so you write a petition. A petition is a big part of it. You write petition specifically there's what you want things. to happen. And uh, in my personal petition, how I personally practice, I put in the petition that if the person is not doing anything, anything that they're putting out, they're going to get back times three. This so, is on satanic stuff, man. I'm not going to lie to this. Hmm. So basically, because they cannot control their own behaviors, they want they they want to control other people's behaviors. I never I never thought that I would be in a position where I would just be watching people, you know, putting in the table witchcraft. That it is a, a spiritual battle. All this is a spiritual battle. They took out God out of the school and they're just willing to, you know, bring their own stuff, which is Satanism and witchcraft. <laughs> Insane. Oh, Look at yeah, this, man. They're not Sorry. doing anything. No, no, go ahead. You go ahead. So if I asked you, for example, to put a hex on somebody and I tell you that they abused me, but they didn't, like, this, the hex wouldn't work? No. Not if you went to me. If you went to a different practitioner, maybe, if they did it differently. But that's personally how I do mine. Interesting. Yeah. Fair enough. It depends on who you ask. Fair enough. Um, but I would, I do bully the victim overall because I do think <laughs> a vast majority of the people coming to me are not falsely accusing. You don't I, know that. I assume most people who are going you don't know out of their way to pay for a service done. Yeah, there you don't know that. There's a reason there. I have an interesting question because you like to say a lot of things are very nuanced. Uh, have you ever stopped to think that a lot of abusers are also victims? And yeah. that because, you know, they so where's the cycle end? Like if you're saying I'm coming after you because point. you abused me, mm -hmm. but he abused you because of someone who abused, like he is also a victim. Like I don't know the situation, right. but like in a lot of situations, people hurt because they're hurt. Yeah. So why, where's right. the justification of saying now I'm just going to push more hurt here's, onto you? Here's the so thing. you are now acting out of hurt. Like where's the kindness? Where's the love? Where's the mm. stuff of it? Where does it end? Question. Where does it end? Where does it end? Where does it end? More focused on getting justice, whatever way that see fit. And so then there would be no end. So therefore, the there's end. never going to be an end to violence. There's never going to be an end to abuse because that's, not, that's just well, not how the world works. The, well, that I really, I really never. hate that the world works like that, but it's never going to be like that. The world is never going to be equal. It is never going to be Wait, fair. Wait, so to be clear with these hexes and there's, let's assume this person is being falsely accused and they're innocent. So you cast the hex, but so the hex doesn't work if they're innocent? Mm -hmm. Based on how I have mine set up. I'm a little confused I have it. by that. I mean... Well, you don't have any really knowledge of witchcraft. I have so, zero knowledge yeah. of <laughs> So it's, it's so kind of hard to... Ex her I, fine print, I guess. I'm, like, I'm <laughs> not trying to figure out... Yeah, so basically it's like you write a fine print, if that makes sense. You write a contract. It's kind of the same thing as like a clause for marriage, we won't, uh, a prenup, right? You don't get 50% unless someone cheats. So it's kind of the same. It's like a prenup, I guess. I write prenups for my spells, if that makes sense. I can put it in That's there. crazy. And here we are, guys, just really. <laughs> you just thinking about this stuff, man. And here we are, guys. We, you know what's crazy about the Manosphere and all that stuff? We, we don't even have a defense. We don't even have a, de a defensive mechanism. People here just running Satanism and witchcraft and stuff like that. And we're here debating whether or not we want God in our schools. We're here debating whether or not God is real. I mean, it comes down. It seems like a lot of guys, we don't have the perfect formula to, against these demonic things. Which is stoicism, you know, emotional control. All these things that are very important to just battle against this. Because this is, you guys don't see it, but this is. This goes beyond in politics. This is this is the 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 root of the causes. It's right here. This lady right here. This lady right here. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in the next.